Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's video. The date is April 22nd, and we got some really nice stuff this week to show you. So starting off, we've got some red phantom tetras. These guys are really juvenile, so they're super tiny still, but as they get bigger, they'll get super bold, super vibrant red. As you can tell, is just starting to develop on some of these guys. So these are a bigger, a little more aggressive schooling tetra, so you don't want to keep them with anything too small as they can fin nip sometimes but keeping with decent sized tank mates they will be super peaceful another cool fish we got in for some small nano tanks or any tank really uh the dainty quarries these guys are a really small growing species of catfish only maxing out at about an inch so they're great for small uh small tanks and they're super fun to watch as they love to school together and swim along everything in, in super little happy groups so definitely a great option for quarry cats alrighty so next up we have the other type of phantom tetra this is my personal favorite the black phantoms it's better to get these guys in a group i prefer two females to every male to keep aggression down and displays up as you can tell the females are like this one have nice red on their bottom fins, whereas the males have all black fins like this guy. And you can see the males get much longer fins. These guys will school with the red phantoms as shown in the previous clip. Uh, and it gets really cool display activities as the males flare up to show off for the females. And it's a really cool, cool look to the tank, giving some extra activity. All right, so next up is a pretty underrated fish. They're not super common, so you won't see them too often. These guys are called the graceful raspora. So they're a little bit more of a shy fish. So you definitely want to keep them in a decent sized group of at least six or more probably to get the proper activity from them. Otherwise, they tend to be uh, pretty shy, but they do excellent in planted aquariums, non-planted or community tanks. These guys uh, get about two inches, so they will get a decent size. So definitely want them in like a 20 gallon or up. As you can see, they've got beautiful luminescence to them and they really shine in the light. Very pretty uh, underrated fish in my opinion. Alrighty, so last but not least, we have something super cool. These guys are called axolotls. So these guys are pretty specific. They need pretty uh, specific care so you don't want to really keep them with fish they need either a bare bottom or sand substrate as they uh, sometimes like to eat pellet or pebbles sorry and they can choke or get constipated which is not good so like i was saying you want to keep them bare bottom or sand they like cold water so you don't want to give them a heater just let it run or in some cases you may even need a chiller they do get a good size, so if you're just going to have one, a uh, 20 gallon long term will be perfect. Or if you want to get more, obviously you can upgrade your tank size. They do live a decent amount of time, so consider that when thinking of buying them. They can live up to 15 years if kept well in, kept in captivity. Another cool thing with these guys is some of them even glow in the dark now as they've been genetically enhanced to glow as you can tell by the guy in the bottom right of your screen so overall these guys are super super cool super chilled very fun to keep so come check them out as always thanks for watching feel free to like subscribe or if you don't want to miss another video hit that bell notification we'll see you next week